So, I've been on this uh, survival world for a while. Don't worry, um, don't worry, guys. Uh, cheats are off. Like, if they were on, um, it would say Xbox Live achievements can't be earned. But no, they've they're they're off. They've always been off. Now there was a mesa over there. This is a really good seed. So there was a mesa biome over there. I've kind of just been following it all the way to here, and it looks like a second mesa biome is about to start. So yeah, let's follow our destiny. Oh yeah, I um. They're right about there, I think, or maybe it's there, somewhere. There's an abandoned village. I would have made my base there, but it's abandoned, so there's no villagers, so I can't do, like, that librarian trick, which I honestly kind of want to do. But yeah, right now I'm just following the mesa out into, like, anywhere, really. I don't have any food. I just ate the last one right before I started recording. Oh no. Hopefully we find a village soon because I want to make my base in a village. Like for, for anyone who doesn't know, villages are really, really good for like making your base. Or like, it's just good to have a village because of like the, oh, thank God. Okay, because of like the trading halls and stuff like that you'll be able to make. Alright, I'm just gonna let my hunger go for a while, and... Yeah, because it's not my top priority right now. To, heat, to, to keep my hunger bar filled up. But yeah, this is amazing, because in mesas, you can find gold. And... Like, lots of gold. It, it spawns. Like, it's a lot more common to find gold in mesas. And this is amazing because the nether update is just about to come out. And gold is actually now kind of valuable. Oh. Alright, maybe I let my hunger run a little too low there. <laughs> Hopefully we're gonna find it somewhere to settle. never mind any iron. Like, I just started this world, like, 15 minutes ago. Uh, you know, I'll get this stuff later. Right now, I'm kind of- Oh, wait, I forgot. Yep. Yep. Nope. The there are mobs here. I gotta be more careful. Alright, but there is something there. Hopefully, I can get that. Here we go. Ooh! Oh, no, no. Yes, there we go. Alright, and torches and coal. Bread. Alright, good, 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 good. Book it, book it, book it, book it. I really should have made a boat. Uh, okay. So guys, something I've discovered is if I travel too far without saving the game every now and then on this iPad, um, it eventually just like stops loading chunks and then everything gets really buggy. So, yeah, if I do that every now and then, I'm not... Like, I'm not doing it to be paranoid. I'm doing it because if I don't, the game is going to glitch out. I don't know why, but 
I mean, at least, at least, um, it's still better than playing on my old tablet. I just straight up couldn't do survival very well on that. But now I've got this thing, and it seems to be good again. Oh wait, no, don't eat any more food than you have to. Okay. So there's land over there. I'm gonna go, oh. Well now there's land over there too. I guess? I mean, it doesn't really look like this is gonna be anything more than an island. But then again, neither does that. <laughs> I guess I'll start with this one. And if it does turn out to be just an island, I'll head over there. Ooh, good, good, good. We need the autosaves. Yeah, this is just an island. And that looks like it's gonna be just an island, too. Yeah, that's just an island. I guess we can go this way and see if anything bigger than an island pops up. That is clearly just an island. Yeah, that is clearly just an island. Although something new has popped up over there. So I'm gonna go check it out, because it's... it's Oh, okay. Yeah, we're, we're getting some stuff now. Okay, that looks like it's gonna be an island. That might be promising. We're definitely getting more land going this way, though, so I'm gonna keep going this way. I gotta grab a, a save. Hold on, guys. Okay, guys. So, I just found what looks to be a... Possibly a continent, or like a big landmass. Oh, it just stopped raining. That's perfect. Yeah, no, no, that's definitely. Oh, there's a shipwreck, too. You see, it? it's right down there. Okay. So. If we're not gonna... If this is an island, it's at least a very big one. So there's a chance that I'll be able to at least, like do something on it, you know what I mean? Oh my god. No, wait, wait, wait. Is that what I Okay, let me get on this. Let me get on this island. Oh my god. Is that what I think it is? Is that what I think it is? No way. I don't even care if this is an island anymore. Oh my god. Guys. Oh my god. That's a mushroom island. That's a mushroom island. Oh gosh. Oh my gosh. This is, this is so good. This is perfect. Yes. Why are there no mobs? I mean, not creepers or zombies or anything, because nothing, no hostile mobs can spawn on my, there's caves? Dude, okay. This is amazing. There's a ravine. Alright. We're making camp here. We're, we're making base here. So we're gonna need some trees. Um, okay. Perfect. There's an island right there. This is actually so good. This is actually perfect. I've got a good source of wood. I have a good place to make my base. This is amazing. <laughs> this is awesome. This is so good. This is better than the village. You know what? 
I'm sure I'll be able to find a village in the future and then, like, connect it up with another hub or something. This is good. This is where I'm going to put my base. Now, I'm going to find out where the heck... All the mobs are. Or maybe they just don't spawn at night. Maybe. I guess we'll just wait until day. I'm gonna go mining in the meantime, though. Because I need resources. Okay. Uh, actually, uh, never mind. Didn't have enough time to mine because it was actually a lot closer to, the, to daytime than I thought it was. But yeah, that was, uh, that was the problem. It's daytime now and mushrooms are spawning. Wow. So, yeah. Hey, guys. So, what am I going to be able to get from these guys? Um, I can get mushroom stew. So, basically, infinite food, as long as I have a bowl. And I can get milk. Okay. No, of course. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, never mind. Okay, so there's a bit of grass here. Maybe because that's not the mushroom, or the mushroom island. Oh. <laughs> okay. I got a bit of wood, by the way, for, um, from that island earlier. I'm gonna go back there and see if any, uh, sheep have spawned or anything. Stupid drowned. I need a bed. I don't have a bed. <laughs> Oh, geez, I should really stop sprinting. Oh, no. Okay, first of all, why is it so hard to get up this mountain? It should not be. Oh, this is a problem. Oh, wow. This is a real problem. How am I gonna get a bed? How am I gonna get wool? Oh, no, I do have an idea, but it's a really bad one. Oh, actually, no. Chickens are spawning. Yeah, you can see the trees I chopped up. So chickens are spawning, so hopefully sheep will start spawning, too. Alright, where is the thing? There we go. So if I'm not going to be able to get any sheep on this island, which is very... Where were you when I needed you two seconds ago? Hi, I don't have any shears, so sadly I'm going to have to kill this one. I'm sorry. Hey, you didn't see anything, okay? Exactly. I will let you be a chicken. Oh, I only have one wool. I need two more before night falls again. Because 
so here's the thing. Here's the here's the pros and cons of going to make a base here. So no mobs except mushrooms are gonna be able to spawn there because it's mycelium. The surface is literally covered in mycelium and no hostile mobs can spawn on that, which is good. And also there's a ravine, which means whatever is in the ravine is basically free stuff since nothing else spawns down there. Um, the bad news is typically as it is here, it's an island. Which means to get anything, like, only moose rooms are going to spawn there. As far as I know, nothing else, like, sheep or chickens spawn there. So I'm going to have to come to this island for stuff like that. But the thing is, these mobs that I'm looking for don't really spawn that often. We've only seen one chicken, one cow, which I think is the same one over there, and one sheep. We haven't even seen a pig. We've seen no other mobs. So, yeah. That's kind of the con. To get other resources, I'm going to have to go out pretty far. Hopefully I'll get, like, a farm started and stuff. The good thing is, um, as long as I'm in, I guess I'll call my little safe zone, I'm never going to run out of food. Because if I get a bowl, which I very easily can, just simply craft one, um, all I need is one bowl. I can just milk a mushroom for a mushroom stew. I can drink the stew. And if it doesn't fill my hunger all the way, I can just milk it again and eat the stew again until my hunger is filled, which is perfect. Oh, no. I'm not getting any mobs. Maybe the mob cap is up already? Maybe I'll have to... I might have to do it. Might have to kill a drowned. Which, I mean, there's nothing bad about that. But it's just not something I expected to do this early in the game. To be fair, though, I do have a stone sword. Oh, sugar cane. Alright, buddy. Where are ya? I said, where are ya? Maybe he's, uh... Oh, that's another thing. Um, water and mycelium are two very different things. And as, saw, uh, as we saw earlier, drowns can still spawn in the river. So... Oh my god, is that another shipwreck? Alright, which way did I come from? Like, I came from, like, 1600, and, like, this was, like, 1300. Oh. Oh, what do you know? There's another shipwreck. <laughs> I think that's where I came from, actually. Yeah. Oh my! There's another one! Oh wow, it was actually right there. I just didn't realize. Dang! I've got a lot of shipwrecks near me. Maybe when I uh, get a water breathing potion, I'll be able to go down there and see what's happening. Oh! There's the pig. <laughs> Alright, so we, we have now seen one of everything. This is not going well at all. This is really not going well. I've got six emeralds though, so if I ever want to trade, I should be pretty good for a while. I'll take that. Oh, that's a trident. That's a trident. Nope. Oh, no. Ah, no. Oh, no. Oh, I'm so scared. Die. 
You too. You too. You, you gotta go. Oh, night is already coming. No, no, no. I so wish I could pick that trident up, but sadly I can't. Sheep! I need you to spawn. Hi there, chicken. Right, you know, I'm gonna cut to when something interesting happens. As if the night couldn't get any worse, guess who just decided to show up? The most annoying mob in the game. Hello, buddy. I hate you. <laughs> oh, no. I hear you. Wait, oh, there you are. Hi, buddy. Uh-uh. That's not happening. I really need a bed. Look what's happening. I've got insomnia already. <laughs> no. Don't you dare. I will rearrange your face. Not afraid to. I will make those green eyes purple, just like Mojang did to the Endermen. I mean, my eyes are blue. But still. <laughs> I really hate you. I really hate- This is not good. Oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness. Look at this, our first aw man of the series. Oh, come on, I was- I was gonna kill you. You just decided to blow up. Now I got. Now he's not gonna drop any gunpowder. Hmm. I suppose. Oh, oh, hello. Did not expect to see you there, buddy. Oh, wait, iron. Alright, here's what I think. So the last sheep, I found one by the way, it's up there. The last sheep that we found, we killed. Now that was clearly a mistake. So this time, I got some iron, I'm gonna make shears, and I'm gonna shear it. And I'm gonna keep it alive, and later when I have wheat, I'm gonna lure it into a sheep farm. And then I'm gonna breed all the sheep I want. Yeah, I, I know what you're thinking. Good idea, Zorkan. That's going to help you later in the game. You're right. It will. Also, what would a survival series be without an MLG water trick, am I right? Alright, let's find a good place to... Like, right there. We're going to do that again. <clears throat> anyway, as I was saying, right there. Yeah, I got a water bucket, too. Because I'm good at water parkour. As some folks might call it. Oh, wait. There we go. <laughs> Alright, we're going to get to this sheep. <clears throat> As I was saying, we're going to get to this sheep. And we're going to shear it. And we're not gonna kill it because that's what heroes do if it's even still around hello sheepy if you despawned I'm gonna cry thank you thank you for not despawning oh yes 
boys, we got a bed. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Oh, yes. Sheepy, you saved my life. You're awesome. Oh. Okay. Yes, thank you. Thank you very much. Now, donde esta mi crafting table? I think it's over there. Yay! Oh, that was kind of close. Yeah, yeah, here we go. Boop. <laughs> sure, let's make a black bed because we have ink sacks. <laughs> I don't really care what color it is at the moment. I just care that it's there. I just, I want a bed. So what's the layout of our base going to be? Let's think about this right now, guys. So, obviously the, the Mushroom Island will be the main part of it, because that's like the main safe haven area I'm picturing right now, because no mobs can spawn on it, except Mushrooms. And the cool thing about Mushrooms is that as long as you have a bowl, you basically have infinite food. So... In other words, what I'm saying is no mobs are going to be there to hurt you and you have everything you need to regen because you can fill up your hunger. Okay, well, you know what? It is about to be night. So... Oh yeah, I threw those out while I was crafting the bed. I... I want to cure my insomnia, thank you very much. And I get that it's not on the island, but it's on this one, and it's right next to that one, so it, it's close enough for now. Right now... Okay, you know what I'm thinking? We should start a mine down there, because there's a ravine on that island, and that area below the mycelium is still considered part of the Mushroom Island. So no mobs are going to spawn down there either. So whatever we find down there, we're not going to have to worry about fighting our way to it. It's just there. <laughs> it's just there. So. Yeah. You know what? I'll do some... Uh, I'll do some grinding, I'll go mining and stuff, I'll color this bed, and hopefully I'm gonna start a sheep farm. <laughs> but yeah, I'll see you guys next episode, let's, um, let's hope this becomes something, because it's looking promising so far. We've got a mushroom island, we've got some villages back in, like, the the world spawn which I could probably link through the nether for fast travel um we've got access to wood we've got access to infinite food at our base we've got a mesa I don't know if I already said that but yeah this is looking good and hopefully, I'm thinking, or I'm hoping, we have a mine shaft, or diamonds, or something down there in that ravine. Honestly, diamonds probably sounds more realistic. I don't think there's going to be a mine shaft under a mushroom island. But yeah, see you guys next episode. <laughs>